Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. I'm here once again in the area where we go look for the bearite here, north of Grand Junction. It'll be my last time before moving to Idaho, so let's hope we can find a lot of good stuff. And you guys are already familiar with this area. I've been here many times. But just in case, here's the GPS coordinates. All right, let's get at it. So here we go. We've got a nice mud ball exposed right here. You can see a little bit of calcite right there. And somebody had started digging this and then stopped. I guess they thought it might not have enough in it or they ran out of time or whatever. But we're gonna go ahead and just dig into that, dig the dirt down here and start pulling it apart and see if we can find any crystals in it. So here we have everybody. Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hello. We've got a, a nice group here. We're, they were all camping out here last night. And now, gonna find some crystals. <laughs> So what are you seeing? So this, it looks good up here with the calcite. This looks like it's already curving back that way. It looks like it might be one that's squashed, which isn't a great thing because it might not have a lot of crystal in it, but it's worth trying anyway. Look at all that crumbly so, stuff there. You see that crumbly stuff? Mm -hmm. That's no good. You're not looking for that. <laughs> and that's the crumbly stuff is usually underneath the, the actual so this one yeah this one is very squashed i see ocean mineral water and mineral we're in the water. desert so yeah, there's one break it apart Bruce. all right let's see if we've got any open spaces in it and it should just break along the lines of the open spaces right yeah it will gotcha <clears throat> yep unfortunately Looks pretty devoid. Right Looks devoid. I was worried when I saw that it looked like it was all squashed and flattened. So worth a look. So. There's a few cracks on the side here you can see. Oh, what's under it? So they're also That's cracks. the bottom of it. See how it changes to that soil looking? That's that's the edge of it. So that's, is that more of it there then? Or? Yeah, it's kind of squashed. It's like a UFO shape. So back over that way, we didn't really find much. But here we've got some nice stuff coming out. It's kind of that darker colored calcite. But this has these cool rosettes of the calcite growing. And this is the best one I've seen so far, but we've found several. And you can see the nice veins of it going through right there. You might remember we found stuff similar to this in a different area, but not quite these cool rosettes like this. Here it is all washed off. Doesn't look a whole lot different, you just see the red color, but those are so cool, those kind of rosettes or stalactites of calcite. They're really neat. Nice cool little parting gift. And I'm back at the vehicle. So yeah, I didn't film a whole lot today. I was mostly helping the kids out and they found some things. This is just kind of an example of some of the things. You know, mostly anything with barite were more veins and stuff. Didn't find very many good crystals of barite. Found a few, mostly on the surface. And then some cool calcites and stuff. That's about all we found today. That's okay. Some days aren't as good as others, but still it was a good day and it's nice and cool. And I'm glad I was able to get out here at least once more. Anyway, until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.